Good morning and welcome to Meletos. And driving up here, you could see this massive theater from miles away. This theater is huge. I don't have a plan, so we'll just have to see how it goes. And <laughs> I'm not a tour guide either. I just walk here like a tourist, take you guys along. This is pottery made for me. Building a home like I've never known. Been a long time coming since your. Timo go. There you are. It's been a long time coming since your way to this life away from the noise, knowing your solitude. I knew Miletus was big, but this shows it all. The theater. And this must have been how it was everywhere and doesn't exist anymore. Wow. And it just goes on to the other side. But I have a little path here. Where does that go? Everywhere around us is flat land. In the old days, that was all sea. And this was like a peninsula. Miletos had three harbors. 
and was one of the central points for trade at the time. And all these old cities are dotted at the edges of what was then the sea. With all that water around them and all those enemies, they must have had hundreds of meters of fortification like that. Wow. They don't even know what all lived here because it's all buried under sediment from the great Menderes River that ran through here and is now only a trickle of what it was. <laughs> Even Buffa Lake, where we were with the monastery, the hike, it was part of this water. It's hard to imagine now. But let's carry on. So it's higher up there, you can see that, and it's higher up there, and here in the middle was a harbour, and apparently it had a huge monument. Ah, still water in it. So that looks to be, again, many rooms around a courtyard. Huh. But there's so much more. Can't see it all today, that's for sure. It's rumbling in the distance. I'm gonna get a thunderstorm. <laughs> Seems to be the topic of my trips. End it with a thunderstorm. They made a new roof on it. Sure is impressive. So humid and warm. Man, sweating. Oh, what a beautiful place. They just have to dig up a lot more. Boom, but a boom. Max an hour. Then I have to be in the car. Sure of it. Hey, that's too bad. Better hurry. Ooh. Maybe box. Yeah, am I? I mean, we started over there. This place is big.
The Nymphaeum was monumental fountain from the reign of Emperor Titus. The building marks the end of the aqueduct that supplies the city with fresh water. Okay. Looked impressive. <laughs> and that's what left. Earthquakes do their job here, that's for sure. The Senate House. We've seen a few of those already. And I have to say, the only thing spectacular here is the theatre. Especially that... Uh, yeah, alleys that you walk through. So I'm going back there. So I'm back at the theatre and I'm going to walk the whole lane. You coming, Timo? There's one thing more I want to see, but I have to bring Timo to the car first so he's safe and then I'll go and check that out in a minute. The show's going on. There's singing and yelling and cheering and all sorts of noise. Right. That's what it was, with 30 points of interest. <laughs> You'll never find them. But where is my caravan sarai? They should set out a walk marked that sends you along all these important spots that there is of interest. A little brochure would help too. <laughs> Nothing. But the caravan sarai is still what it was. The cafe. This is the place where you could get a room, where you could have your animal looked after, if I'm informed well. Let's have a look. This place originally had two stories and I assume rooms for guests were upstairs. Didn't need bathrooms, they had bathhouses. Good view on the theatre as well. So now it's a little cafeteria, toilets. Must be nice to arrive at a place like this. Maybe you've been on the road for weeks, from FS to Miletos, just to get some stuff sold, unload your donkeys, have a bath, a good meal, 
talk to some other traders. Maybe they have news from where you go next. Oh, exciting stuff. I so love it. Those doors are so tiny. Look at that. Well, that's it for me. Miletos, hmm, so-so. But this thing, a caravanserai, never seen one before. Every old city has something that you, hmm, just a reason to go. But I have to go home. It's the end of my trip. So, see you guys next time.